So a decade ago, a decade ago, I wrote a book about becoming George Washington. I had the audacity to begin the book by saying, my name is Glenn Beck and I am George Washington. Oh my gosh, what is that? What? It's, I said that because I believe everyone has the potential for his kind of greatness to become an indispensable man or woman. Today, I want to talk to you about a different George. This George lives in Bedford Falls, and we see him almost every Christmas. Hello, my name is Glenn Beck, and I am George Bailey. I'm nothing special. I'm average. I'm flawed. I'm fallible. I'm emotional. Mm, I'm fat. I'm awkward. And I have dreams that I will never achieve. I got that in spades, man. I am George Bailey. But I believe you are George Bailey as well. This is what makes this movie so incredibly relatable. Because George Bailey could be any of us, and I contend is all of us. Like many of us, George Bailey's life, full of events he found challenging, oftentimes demeaning, personally unfulfilling. And even though he's willing to sacrifice his own happiness for the good of others, that is, in today's life, in today's world, heroic. He does it, and he moves on. Now, if Netflix made this film today, uh, George would leave Bedford Falls and pursue his dreams, and with the help of a gay sidekick angel, obviously of another race, he would find the power within some organization that would help him overcome the evil old white man Potter and discover his fully realized self, and he would identify as some sort of an animal. But the original George Bailey from the Capra film, he's who we really are. I don't care what race you are. I don't care what background you have. I don't care where you are. You could be absolutely right now at the end of your rope, and you are hearing this by what you would think is a coincidence, you're ready to give up. You're ready. I can't do it anymore. And yet you're hearing this. George Bailey is not a hero because he built the skyscrapers and the bridges of his youthful dreams. He thought he was a failure because of that. He was a hero because of the daily sacrifices he made for his family, the building and loan customers, not the business, the customers the town of Bedford Falls. He even sacrifices his own moment of sadness and depression to dive into the water and save Clarence, the angel, who he believes is drowning. Clarence shows George that while the price he paid for living his principles may have been costly, he was the one man who could pay it. He was the one man who could stand against the great tide of evil. Remember, this isn't just a story of a guy who makes a difference in people's lives. This is the guy who stood against evil. Remember what the town became? George may be a reluctant hero, but it was his moral character that sets him on a path of virtuous sacrifice. Very Christ-like qualities. Thoreau writes that the masses are leading lives of quiet desperation. But what you in this audience have proved to me, and I hope you prove it to yourself, is that thousands of people just like you, just like George Bailey, are living lives of quiet inspiration. It's you and millions like you, who every day, being George Bailey, live your principles. And in turn, that's what makes life wonderful. Living a life of honor and integrity and humility. It's not going to make you millions of dollars. It's not going to result in your name being splashed across movie posters. But you will earn something far more enduring. 
the respect of those who who care you care about and they care about you the most. So let me say something incredibly arrogant. Hello, my name is Glenn Beck and I am George Bailey. And just like George Washington, I am the leader of men. I am fearless. I am the person others will aspire to be for generations. I am an indispensable man. Oh my gosh, how could he possibly say that? Because I believe you are too. So go ahead for just a second. Instead of thinking, oh my gosh, he's so arrogant for saying what I just said. Say them out loud yourself with me. Say them out loud yourself. Do you even have the guts to say these things out loud? This is the season of belief. Do you believe in yourself? Do you believe that you make a difference, a big difference? Because you do. And if you happen to be one of those people that are listening by accident and you're like, you know, the world would be better without me. Say these things out loud because you are just as essential as George Bailey. I know you are because I have an understanding of what you have accomplished over the years. So repeat after me. My name is, state your name, and I am George Bailey. And just like George Washington, I am the leader of men. I am fearless. I am the person others will aspire to be for generations. And I know that I am an indispensable man. Say that. Say that every day. Say that until you believe it. And believe me, you say that every day, you will believe that. But you also have to see that everybody else has the same potential. So Merry Christmas, Bedford Falls and Dallas and Wichita and Orlando and Bismarck. Merry Christmas to even you, New York and Los Angeles. Merry Christmas to those who identify as Republicans or a Democrat or an Independent. Merry Christmas to liberals and conservatives. And Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or Winter Solstice. But mostly Merry Christmas, because this is the holiday that reminds us of how valuable we really are as individuals. This holiday reminds us that God himself came down and sacrificed himself and his son to redeem us, not reimagine us, not fundamentally transform us, but to redeem us, to clean us up. God himself saw us as worthy of redeeming, not changing, redeeming each of us uniquely children of God. Say that out loud. I am a son or daughter of God. We will throw around, we're all children of God. But have you actually understood what you're really saying? I am a son or daughter of God. With all of the royal heritage and holy pedigree made in his image. May I ask that? Over the next few weeks, will you make a covenant? Can we get together and use this holiday to begin the process of seeing ourselves for who we really are? Because if we do, we will change the way we relate to people and we will also understand our own inherent power. We are truly citizens of a much higher kingdom. We are noble men and noble women, gentlemen and gentle ladies who God cares about and is constantly sending an angel to dive in before we jump into the river ourselves. And he does that as a way to remind us of who we really are and how much value you actually hold. 
if you were somebody that was standing at that bridge in your mind. I'm your fat Clarence. You are indispensable. And we have amazing work to do. It's going to be an honor to serve with you. Find joy and belief in the season.